warm welcome to everybody in our space this morning. Uh, my name is Nadia Research Young, co-founder of Bumha. Um, to the left of me is my uh, better half, uh, Hannah Valle, um, who's also the co-founder of Bumha 3535 AG. This long group that raises the women at the center of those two key challenges. We want to celebrate this moment with you. It is a warm hub. Warm hub. Not just the warm hub, but warm Walking in here this morning, it felt really absolutely heartwarming for me to see what you've created here, the space that you've created. But more importantly, it gives us the assurance that the partnership set up with the Western Cape government will help us achieve these ambitious goals that we have. Hi, my name is Nadia Musaji. And I'm Hema Valib. And we're the co-founders at WOMHUB. WOMHUB's annual showcase brings together our entire ecosystem built to support women in STEM, science, technology, engineering, mining, and manufacturing, from attraction to ownership. Over the course of three days, we have celebrated women in STEM across talent, entrepreneurship, and investment. Each of the days really focused on a core part of our ecosystem. On the talent side, it's really about how is it that we, one, attract girls into engineering, as well as our partnership to inspire one million girls to STEM education, to support female engineering talent around employability and future skills, and to support women in leadership and executive positions within the engineering ecosystem. But none of this matters if we can't move capital. So day three was fully focused on investment. As we launched 535 Ventures, the capital arm of the WOMHUB ecosystem, we really dug deep into how do founders have better access to capital, the role of gender lens investors on the continent, but also exploring how do we build new partnerships and you know, catalyze investment that really will ignite the bigger ecosystem in itself as well. In 2023, our WOMHUB showcase is really special because we also launched the first female founder innovation and co-working space here in Cape Town, a model that can be replicated across the continent and around the world to be able to really support women by co-working, supporting them through community and also helping them bring their entire selves to work um, through our junior engineering hub and our co-play spaces. So really the Womb Hub Showcase is not just a way for you to meet with us, connect with us, but really a way for you to experience us. This is just the beginning. Not only are we building spaces, but we're building community. Come join us and be a part of the WOMHUB family. Please, we don't encourage them to get there to study science and engineering at school. We're never going to get them into engineering at university. Try to use the opportunities that you have available to you. Um, you know, whatever those opportunities may be. That may be an interesting area, um, how WOMHUB kind of mobilizes and pulls on some of those later stage investors so that it can help to kind of support the great startups that are coming out of this. I think can have a big impact there. If we just invest more in female entrepreneurs, the entire African GDP will be uplifted by 5%. Thanks, Nadia, and a real pleasure to be able to join everyone today. Thanks for this opportunity. I am really sad not to be able to be in the room with you guys. Uh um, and it's focused on university students specifically. So it is about um, empowering and training the almost or soon to be graduates that are within the STEM fields um, with soft skills so that they can become employable. We've got a structural problem here around kind of investing in women entrepreneurs and we need, you know, everybody to be part of this conversation. And, and one of the reasons behind Five and Five Ventures is, is that how do we start to move capital into the hands of women, right? And let us go downstairs and enjoy um, more kind of connecting, cultivating and hopefully competitive.